calculus one limit. Been struggling with this one for a while, and the solution my teacher gave wasn't helpful. So when I first saw this question, I thought it was an easy question because we can factor the top and bottom and cancel out the common factor x plus three. But I realized the question is asking us x is approaching one plus, so you don't really have to factor anything. This question is more like testing us to see if we have good habits when we want to evaluate limits. Here's the deal. When x is approaching a number, we should always plug in this number into all the x's and see what happens. So let's have a look. Plugging 1 into the x, so we have 1 squared and then minus 9 over. Plugging 1, we get 1 squared and then plus 2 times 1 and then minus 3. Let me draw an arrow because this means we approach. Yeah. 1 squared is 1, minus 9, we get negative 8. Now, here is the trouble. On the bottom, we have 1 squared, which is 1, plus 2 times 1, which is 2. Altogether, we get 3. Minus 3, we end up with 0. Now we have negative 8 over 0. What's the response for this? Remember, this is a limit question, so do not just put down and define what doesn't exist right away. But the good news right here is that whenever we have a non-zero number on the top over zero. We know what the result could be. In fact, either we get negative infinity or positive infinity. One way or the other, never the both, right? So how do we know which one though? The only thing that we have to do is to check the sign. On the top, we see we have negative eight already, divided by zero, Hmm, is it positive zero or negative zero? That doesn't make sense, right? And the reason is because we have to come back here and then pay attention to this is one plus. So here is one plus, likewise here is one plus, likewise here is one plus. What exactly is like one plus? Just think about this as a number that's approaching one from the right. So just a number bigger than one, just a tiny bit. Let's think about it as 1.001. Now let's work this out. 1.001 square, it's still a little bit bigger than 1. Minus 9, this right here will actually be a little bit bigger than negative 8. So technically, this right here should be negative 8 plus. Just think about this as like negative 7.99 something. That's something. I didn't compute everything, so. Yeah, but that's not the point. It's still about. Now, this is still negative, that's the key. Now, the bottom is the key. Here we go. 1 plus square. When we square a number slightly bigger than 1, the result will still be just a little bit bigger than 1. So this right here is 1 plus. And then we add 2 times a number that's slightly bigger than 1. It's a little bit bigger than 2. So this is 2 plus. And then after that, we have the minus 3. This is a little bit bigger than 1, plus a number bigger than, a little bit bigger than 2. This and that, we get a little bit bigger than 3, and then minus 3. Finally, 3 minus 3, we know that is equal to 0, but this is technically a little bit bigger than 3. Think about this as 3.001. Minus 3, this is a little bit bigger than 0, and that's the key. This is a 0 plus. So here, we have a 0 plus. Be extremely careful though, because you don't always get zero plus all the time, yeah? So definitely check the sign. Now, the top is negative, yeah? Negative, this is negative, divided by, this is a positive, negative divided by positive, we can say the result is negative infinity. <laughs> all right, yeah? We can say the result is negative infinity. So the answer to this right here is Negative infinity. That's it.